Hey guys, how you going? Mark from We Travel Alone, uh, just calling in today to have a chat. Um, the blogging world has sort of been up in a furor for the last uh, six to seven months. Uh, ever since Google released its HCU update in around September last year, the HCU is the helpful content update, it was called. So it was meant to make uh, Google search show results that were actually more helpful to people, not just people who were mass producing uh, blog posts with AI and trying to game the system with heaps of keywords. What it actually wanted was to promote articles that were actually really helpful. So first-hand information, things that would answer the questions that people were asking on Google. Um, what it has done, though, has actually hampered a lot of people's livelihoods. A lot of bloggers... Uh, have lost their livelihoods or are losing their livelihoods uh, because of this um, update, some fairly, some really not fairly at all. Um, for us, it, it hit a couple of our sites. Uh, luckily, the couple of sites that it hit, uh, which was Explore Victoria and Poland Travel Expert, weren't necessarily sites that were bringing in a lot of money for us. So it was quite easy to cover. So... Along with this update, Google also just rolled out a March core update. So for those who don't know, Google rolls out what's called a core update a couple of times a year. It's where they play with with their search engine, basically, once again, to show you uh, what they think or what they deem is the best results in the end. Um, so for a lot of people, on top of the helpful content update last September... This update also hurt people on top of that again. So a lot of people's traffic has gone to zero. So this is one of the huge problems, I guess, with relying on blogging alone to make an income for you as a digital nomad. Um, you're at the whim of, you know, one of the biggest companies in the world, and that's Google. And in the end, Google are an advertising company. So my theory is that they don't really want you to rank. They don't really want you to be making money off their platform. They prefer to be making money themselves off their platform. So they would prefer to promote um, their own stuff to the top of the search engine pile. That's why they have things like Google Travel, where they recommend hotels, they recommend flights, things like that, because they want to keep the money in their own pocket, which, you know, in the end is a valid business model for them. Um, you know, Google Google are, are the, the all-important gods of, uh, of search engines these days. For a lot of people, and including ourselves, there's not really anything we can do when Google decides to turn the switch off to stop sending traffic to us because they don't deem it relevant. So there's a lot of people out there who are trying to diversify their ways of getting traffic through things like Pinterest and social media. And uh, and that way, you know, I mean, I guess it'll never really make up for the traffic that Google was sending to you. Um, you know, you can try and optimize your content for Bing and Yahoo and try and get them to send some more traffic to you. But when Google basically has about 85% of the search engine market, it's not really going to make any difference. So as also, you see a lot of bloggers out there making courses for different things. You can sell printables. Um, you can sell physical products if you you want to try and make money for yourselves. Um, one of the things about selling blogging courses is as Google changes, none of it is relevant anymore. So really, you're not actually helping anyone. You're just making money and fleecing people with blogging courses these days because anything prior to last month is now no longer relevant in the way that you should write posts, the way you should set posts out, keyword research, search engine optimization for posts. It's all changed in this new world prior to the HCU and the 2024 March core update. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep plugging along. As for us, uh, I'm changing the style of our output of our blogs, um, especially our team travel ones. Uh, we're just about to implement a new framework, um, the way we write. It'll be shorter, more concise, more to the point. Um, time to get rid of some of the padding and fluff that's on there, but... Look, in the end, if we want to succeed, we've got to try everything. You know, you can't just sit still and keep writing the same way, keep producing the same content and hoping one day that, you know, that it'll all come back. Um, you know, Google are moving with the times. So as content creators and 
riders, we need to move with the times too. The one thing about Google is, like I said, what makes it really hard with Google is they will never actually tell you what they want. There's no specific target, um, unlike other jobs or other things where you can do a course and you actually know what, what you want and what you have to do to succeed. With blogging, relying on organic traffic, organic traffic, I should say, <laughs> with Google, no one ever knows. It's just uh, all guessing, you know, at some stages it was see how many keywords you could put in, see how many, get how many links you can get from other websites that would all help you rank, but no one ever knows. Everyone is just really guessing what Google wants. So for us, we'll keep trying to change, trying to adapt, um, in order to keep making money so we can actually head down the road of being digital nomads in the next few years like planned. So, so for now, I'm hard at work today producing, yeah, content with a new framework to see if that works. So. If anyone's got any questions about anything Google does or what we think, feel free to reach out. Once again, don't forget to sign up to our We Travel Alone TikTok channel, follow us on Facebook, and go to the website. To be honest, the website hasn't got much content on it at the moment. I think I'm going to go out three or four articles on it. But um, look, it's a slow burn for the website. Most of the content that I can see producing on our website for it will be once we start traveling. So... We've just got a few articles on there about blogging at the moment. So if you want to have a drop by and have a read, that would be great. Retravelalone.com. Um, see you when the next video comes out. Bye.